Here are five reasons why Street Fighter is so bad that it's the greatest movie of all time. Number five, Van Damme. After creating two of mankind's greatest masterpieces in Hard Target and Time Cop, Van Damme knew he could probably get away with half-assing it for a movie. And boy, did he ever. I'm the Reaper Man. And you're out of business. Not only did his English somehow get even worse. Synchronize your watches. 0500, gas stuff at 0600. But his delivery shows he has no idea what's going on. Come out from behind the curtain, wizard. Let's see how pure your combat really is. He plays Guile, the most American person you have ever seen. You know he's American because of his very real and very tiny American flag tattoo. He's world famous and a household name as all colonels are. Colonel Guile, Chung Lee, and GNT News. May we speak to you, sir, please? No. But don't you want to speak to the world often? He gives the most inspirational speech in history. We can all go home. Meanwhile, ideals like peace, freedom, and justice, they get packed up. At least I think it is. It's really hard to understand him. I'm gonna get on my boat, and I'm going up river, and I'm going to kick Bison's ass so hard that the next Bison wannabe is gonna feel it. As long as he keeps giving us these awesome spin kicks, he can do whatever the hell he wants. <laughs> Number four, Raul Julia. What goes great with an average actor who's just mailing it in? An all time great actor hamming it up like a mother <laughs> Nobody told Raul Julia that this movie was terrible. And the results? We shall face it together, DJ. With the stoicism of the true warrior. War. Anyone who opposes me will be destroyed. Glorious. Come here, prepare to fight a madman, and instead you found a god? He plays the main villain. M. Bison, an evil dictator who spends the movie saying the most awesome things. The day Bison graced your village was the most important day of your life. They're talking about the time he came to her village and slaughtered her father. But for me, it was Tuesday. That is so badass. He also mocks people's disabilities. I guess you didn't see that, did you? Damn. Number three, the incredible backstories. Just look at what a masterful job Street Fighter does at introducing its characters. You're Edmund Honda, the sumo from Hawaii. You almost made Yokozuna. Until the Shadow Lutong destroyed my reputation. They did the same thing to me and my boxing career. That's two complete backstories in under 10 seconds, delivered in a way that tells the audience, look, we're trying to sell a lot of toys here, so let's just keep this sh moving. There's a couple of cage fighters. The greatest cage fighter since Iron Fist. Oh yeah, what happened to him? He retired and became me. Two martial arts bros. You've forgotten everything our sensei talked about. Van Damme's buddy. Charlie, hang on, buddy. We're coming! A computer expert. Oh, man. I should have stayed at Microsoft. And a Native American 
You know that because he's wearing a headband. That's nine total characters whose backstories took under 30 seconds combined. What the movie lacks in effort, it more than makes up for in apathy. Number two, Chun Li. At first, she wins our hearts and minds by doing this completely pointless somersault. Later, she runs in from out of nowhere and stabs Ryu with a giant knife and everybody just pretends like it didn't happen. She also screws up two great opportunities to kill Bison. The first one, she blows because she played an entire video for him, letting him know exactly what was happening. Which gave him time to get to safety. Then she has Bison right where she wants him. And is about to avenge her father's death when this happens. Thanks, guys. Before we get to number one, here are some honorable mentions. This lady, who after Ryu takes off his shirt, she decides she doesn't care about Vega anymore, even though Vega's body is much better. Her terrible taste is really hard for Vega to deal with. Captain Sawada, a completely unnecessary character in a movie overflowing with unnecessary characters. His only contributions are asking idiotic questions. Uh, Colonel, my commando team is at full readiness, but we need to know if the assault will be by land, sea, or air. In a terribly dubbed voice. A single boat against everything he's got? The pilot would have to be out of his mind. Van Damme decides to let the villain know that the hostage he has isn't just a regular hostage, but someone very important to him. Jolly, hang on, buddy. I'm sure that won't cause him any problems. So you are Guile's friend. Take him to the laboratory. This guy's delivery. Now then, where are those hostages? He shows us he has the same heart as Ra Julia, but none of the talent. This assassin, sent to kill Van Damme, and would have been successful if he knew anything about subtlety. Then, this character decides she's just gonna take his shirt off. That same character later randomly shoots a rocket launcher at a wall that she's pretty close to for absolutely no reason. And it was awesome. And finally, the music video. There's actually a music video for the movie starring the main cast and the song is sung by MC Hammer and Dion Sanders. I know this sounds stupid, but I swear it's real. And the number one reason why Street Fighter is so bad that it's the greatest movie of all time is the premise. The premise of Street Fighter has nothing to do with street fighting and doesn't even try to make sense. Sometimes the main villain is creating an army of super soldiers. All I want to do is to create the perfect genetic soldier. Other times, he plans on kidnapping the Queen of England. That is the exchange rate the Bank of England will set once I've kidnapped their queen. And a third plan of ransoming hostages for $20 billion in order to build a giant shopping mall. 
The food court should be larger. All the big franchises will want in. It's like they had a bunch of different ideas for the premise and just said F it and went with all of them and threw it together randomly. Game over! For all Julia, it was an insult. But for Van Damme... It was Tuesday.